That's going to get cut out. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're not going to include that one. <laughs> I'm being censored. I'm being censored. Okay, you want- I want you to include how many times I say, <laughs> I'm being censored. All right, all right, all right. Hey guys, we have a special guest here today. His name is Nate Speard. And we are gonna do assumptions about Nate. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. It takes a lot to make Nate laugh or even smile. It just, how does this work? Okay, so is that true or false? I have a very special sense of humor. You've yes, seen, he, it's like yes. very, it, there's got to be multiple layers to it. It's, it's got to be a be little like, bit deeper. It's got to be like than a, the surface. Right, it's got to be like a levels. It's got to mm -hmm. be like a puzzle mm -hmm. to like get to the funny part. That's what makes <laughs> it funny. There's multiple puzzle pieces that need to come together to make it funny. Yes, but he does laugh, and when he laughs, it's like hysterical, and he sounds like an old man. <laughs> he loves you a lot, and you're the most important to him. Yes. What, are you, are you sure about that? Yes. He is super strict. Yeah. He gets angry or irritated easily. It depends, yes. I mean, I... There's certain triggers, yeah. Yeah, I, I, have, I have a short fuse in certain aspects. Things I could work on, I should get better at, and I try to get better at, but kind of a hothead, if we're being honest. If he feels, like, claustrophobic around too many people or lines or um, driving, traffic, all that kind of gets to you. And that's why I ride a motorcycle. His tattoos made me think that he's had his fair share of heartbreaks. I mean, yeah. They they tell a story, all of them. Period. Um, he's an introvert. Yes. He seems like he is a hard ass, but is probably one of the kindest, loyal, and hardworking people. Yes. Yeah, I don't really think that's something I'm supposed to answer. Eight years older than Rainy. I'm eight years older than. <laughs> no. Eh. I'll tell them, how much older are you? Oh, right. Again, I don't tell more than I <laughs> than I have to. I don't disclose extra information. Uh, yes. I just turned 30, so. Yeah, so I'm, I'm older by two years. You were previously married. No, I've never been married. You're a perfectionist and hard on yourself. Yeah. You don't, you don't like to talk about your emotions. That could have been much, much more true several years ago, but yeah. I think that I've tried to, I've, I've come a long way, I think. I've tried to come a long way. Anyways, I've done a lot of work and mm -hmm. we've done a lot of work and whatnot. I think you're better about talking about your emotions than me sometimes. You grew up with strict parents. My mom was kind of like, kind of strict and controlling, wanted things a certain way. My father strict in terms of like, very heavy hand, very, very hard on me. Grow up quick, like be a man, discipline. You don't have a sweet tooth. No, uh, the, the extent of my sweet tooth consists of eating yogurt, oatmeal, some granola. You got some drunk tattoos? Like, I don't regret any of my tattoos. I mean, all, like I said, all my, all my tattoos kind of have some purpose and intent behind them. They have a story. I, I drew several of them. You drew a lot of them. Some of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're very low maintenance and you're happy that way. Yeah, I like to say so. Um, I like to think that I kind of have my life in a bag. Like, it, it kind of stresses me out to, to feel like I just have things everywhere and have too many things to consolidate. So, like I have, like the, the, the number of very important things to me are very slim and I like to keep it that way. I like to keep, um, a very minimal stock of good quality things that I could just pack and go. You are very rigid in your ways. You like things done a certain way. Yeah, I'd say that's absolutely true. Pretty true. I don't know. Maybe it was the way that I was brought up. Also, the Marine Corps kind of mm -hmm. distills a, 
a certain way. There's a right way and there's a wrong way, period. There's no, mm. there's there's no, no faulting, there's no gray areas, there's no in between, there's mm. right and there's wrong. If you're not right, you're wrong. You're super awkward and have social anxiety and people may assume you're rude. Yeah, it's, I, I would say it's pretty true. A, a, most, a good majority of people upon first impressions of me just think that I'm rude because I guess my, my short answers and just the way that I, I come off, I guess. But the, I guess my only caveat to that is, especially living in LA, I experience a lot of fake people and I can see that. And like, I will never be fake. If I don't like someone, I might just say it straight to their face, which could come off as rude, but I find it rude that people paint on these perceptions all the time. I am a certain way and that's what you get. Mm -hmm. I'll keep it real. Well, so a lot of people said this exact thing. Hard exterior, but he's, but he's just, he's a big teddy bear. Maybe, I don't know. My therapist says that you build up the toughest exteriors because you gotta protect what's inside. No, and because you have a lot of... If it's really valuable, you yeah. gotta protect it. Because if you got a lot of love to give, yeah. you, you, you put up a really, really strong guard. You are very patient compared to Raimi. Patience? Uh-uh. Uh, I, 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 it depends. Certain aspects, yes. Like, in aspects of, like, caring and nurturing for a plant or, you know, <laughs> overseeing projects that take long, long, long-term results. That's where my patience really thrives, like invest, yeah, yeah. investing in something little by little to get the long-term result. Uh -huh. But patience in the extent of like, if, if we're working on something and we have a deadline or we're accomplishing a task that's, that can be done right now and- Or patience for people that Patience for stupidity? Stupid. No, yeah, absolutely no. not. I have zero patience for stupidity. <laughs> zero. 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 None. You like the simple things in life. True. Very like true. watering the garden, the grass. I have my, <laughs> yes, I have my routines, my rituals, and those are what make me happy. They could be very simple to most people, but they're like what provides my my steady baseline of of joy my my coffee my my chickens watering the grass <laughs> shooting my bow riding my motorcycle yes. fitness routines stuff like that reading reading books you're not scared of anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh i i don't know i mean i'm sure there are things that i'm scared of but of course yeah, everybody's scared of something. Yeah. Raimi is your first long-term girlfriend. He has to tread very carefully with this question because <sighs> I'm very jealous type. Yeah, I have to tread really lightly with this one because to her, she's my first girlfriend. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> 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 I have... I have only actually been in long-term relationships. I've been in no more than four, less than three long-term relationships. Um, mm -hmm. And that that's kind of the extent of that. And then say one positive thing about me so you can reassure me. And she's my only girlfriend. No, that I am the best girlfriend. She's had. she's the best girlfriend, obviously. You don't have many friends. Yeah, that's that's true. I keep a very very close few friends, very close, and like we said earlier, it's it's like a ride or die situation. Like I have very close friends that I'll give all the money out of my pocket to if they need to, and. You know, I could, I could kind of, I, I know that I could lean on them in the same way, and I prefer it that way. Um, you never loosen up. I mean, I, I think this is true. I'm trying to think like when you've loosened up. 
That must be really tough. You should loosen up more. Maybe. You hate jeans. Like denim jeans? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, the way that I'm the way that I'm built, I'm I'm very long and lanky and I have a very big butt. I guess. I, I but I have a very um a very small waist, but the length of my legs is like 36 inches long. So like they don't make pants that are that size. So all of those factors considered, no, I cannot really fit into denim jeans very well. I will rip them. Yes. That's why I have I have two pairs of joggers that I wear all the time, which her mom has had to sew twice for me now. And I have full on seen Nate have a meltdown over pants that don't fit him. So. Oh yeah, we're, we were getting- <laughs> We're going to she, a wedding. She was trying to take me to a wedding and her, her whole quick fixes of like getting an outfit for $10 from H&M or Zara or whatever, she tried to do that with me and I wasn't having it. And yes, I had a freaking absolute meltdown and then she made me wear said outfit to the wedding. I had but an absolutely terrible time in the clothes, but we wound up meeting some really, really cool individuals. Yes. We met Shut AJ. Shut the kale up. Shut the kale up Can and I her husband, AJ. It gets really scary when you guys fight. I don't think it gets scary. Yeah. I think we raise our voices and try to talk over each other. Um, yep. And that's, that's about it. That's how most individuals fight. They raise their voices and talk over one another. Yeah. But we've gotten much, much better. Oh, so much better. At handling our fights. We kind of take some time, some distance apart. Yeah. We kind of let the, let the smoke settle. Totally. Reevaluate what could have, what could have been the reason that pissed us off. Mm -hmm. How could I have handled that differently? Am I adding fuel to this fire? What could I do to resolve it and make it better? When you walked a mile to school, you'd pick up turtles and keep them in your pocket all day. Who put that? Was that Travis? <laughs> yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. That's that, so cute. That actually, yeah, that happened in, I want to say like third, no. Not <laughs> that happened in like sixth or seventh grade. Whenever I was walking to school, I found a baby turtle, like mm, that big. Baby I turtle. found a baby turtle in the grass and I put him in my pocket, <gasps> brought him to school with me, put him in my locker, and I like brought him to class, had him on my desk, like behind <laughs> my textbooks and whatnot. And I got brought him home that day after school, bought a fish tank, kept him in the garage. I had that turtle for from like sixth grade all the way until like my junior, senior year. Wow. He was like, he was like, it was big when I found him. Aww. And then, you know, six, seven years later, he maybe only grew to like <laughs> that big. You're an only child. My mother remarried and had two children. My father remarried and had two children. So I have twin brothers on my father's side. And then I have a younger sister and a younger brother on my mom's side. You never have cheat meals. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, it's it's hard. I, I feel like the the mentality behind that is it's just too strong. That that uh, I guess the regret is too strong. The, the like consequence. The consequence. The like the the indulgence. Once you indulge, that feeling afterwards it j is just really not worth it to me. I would, hmm. you know, I I feel perfectly fine and dandy having like having some oatmeal and yogurt and banana, like that curbs my sweet tooth. That's like, I wouldn't say it's a cheat meal, but it makes me happy. It does not wreak havoc on my stomach and make me feel like a fat lard. It, it, it's fine. So yeah. I don't need to go out and eat 12 Big Mac cheeseburgers or in and out Never seen you in and out anything. hamburgers. It would just make me feel terrible probably. My body probably wouldn't even know, know what to do with it. The only time that you cheat mealed was when you had ice cream with me on our second date or something. Yeah, and I mean even then That's we had cute. good quality ice cream. We had salt straw. Oh yeah, salt straw. His family votes for Republicans. That's actually false. My family's all Democrat. You voted for Trump. I haven't voted yet. Um, and I'm actually not 
so clear and concise on if I will vote for Trump. Yet, right now, the libertarian ticket is actually sounding pretty appealing. You hate being told you're wrong. I mean, I don't think that's necessarily true. I don't, I, I wouldn't, I don't really like to be told what to do, as, as crazy as that sounds. Um, that kind of throws me for a loop. Um, yeah. But being told I'm wrong, I'm wrong a lot of times. And he admits I, that. Right, I can come to terms with the fact that I'm wrong, and I'll, I'll say that I'm wrong more often times than not. Um, I'm the very, like... I want to tell him what to do, every little detail. It's, 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 it's the fact of telling me what to do when I guess you probably more than likely know that I'm going to do it or... Like he it, feels stupid that he had to tell, that I had to tell him. Not stupid. It's, What's it's it? inadequate, I would say. Like telling me to, to, I don't know. Telling you to not load the dishwasher. Right. Early is saying, I don't trust that you have it fully loaded. Or just trust that I'm capable of <laughs> doing the dishes, which I do <laughs> all the time. Which you do. Ah! <laughs> I do it more now. I. You do. Yes, at night. That is my chore before bed. Do not look at me that way. Right? Yeah. yeah. You heard it here. You are gonna be a great father. Hope so, yeah. I mean, I think I take really good care of my animals, so. Oh, that's true. You feel a little awkward around my parents. No, I don't think that's true. Maybe the first, obviously maybe the first couple times, but no, I think it's become much, much more natural on both, yeah. on both sides. Um, my mom even said yeah. that to you. Yeah, we have, we have a blast. She, we have a really good time, him. and I feel like we're more than ever. We're probably like looking, looking more for excuses to to see them, go to dinner with them, hang out with them. Um, yeah. See so yeah, no. Pro guns. Pro guns. I believe everybody has a right to carry firearms, protect themselves. I feel safer that he has a gun and knows how to use them and has taught me how to use them. Cause I remember I was intimidated at first and I didn't want to touch it. Right, Be why? Because there's this common misconception that like, if you right. touch it, it might just go boom. It might just blow up or, or something. Yeah. But if you know how to operate them, they're not scary. That's true. You fell head over heels for Raimi when you met her. Yeah, something like that. Don't be shy. Yeah, yeah. He gave me his all from the start. You didn't hold back. Mm hmm You went all in. Mm hmm You hate personality tests. I, I have better things to do than go online and take a 47 question test to figure out what type of bread I am or <laughs> what Myers-Briggs I am or I, I made it IDFJ, I I don't, none of INTJ, that. INTJ, that's what you are. None of that shit means anything to me. You have issues with people in authority. I mean, I guess stemming back to, I don't like to be told what to do. Um, I would say I only have, I only have a problem with authority whenever I do not respect said authority. You love to debate, debate certain topics. Oh, sure. I think that some of the best knowledge can be had through debate, and I do not think that there is enough debate. I think that, like I said, I think it's very healthy. I think it's, I think it's a really great way to learn if you can do it properly. I feel like too many people spend a lot of time in their own echo chambers, echoing things that they like, the things that sound good to them, the things that feel good to them, the things that align to them. They don't ever open up their minds to, you know, opposing opinions, facts, arguments, ideals, and, take it all in, evaluate it for yourself, and basically build your own base of knowledge. You're the jealous type. I think that jealousy stems from, stem, I guess maybe jealousy stems from a level of somebody maybe having something that you don't really have. If and when I really want something, I 
work my ass off and I get it. Anytime that I've really, really, really wanted something and I put my mind to it, no matter how long it's taken, I've gotten it because I don't spend time being jealous. I see something that I want and I'm gonna get it. You wanna move out of California. That is correct. Correct, very correct, and more correct. <laughs> Could not be fast enough. This oh, state, like this state is an absolute hellhole. It's imploding, burning be, from be the nice, inside. Be, be nice. This is my hometown. It's a, a freaking. He wants a, to. But anyways, the question is, I mean, the answer is yes. He's been looking at different states to move to. Okay, that's also going to be censored. I'm being censored. <laughs> Just censored again. Uh huh. You've always been physically fit. Not really been physically fit. I grew up really scrawny, really, really, really scrawny. I used to get picked on a lot. Um, I was really uncoordinated. Sucked at sports. Couldn't even make sports teams. I was god awful. Whenever I went away to the Marine Corps, I got into, I got into fitness a little bit, and here I am. You don't want kids. I'd be doing this world a disservice if I did not bring a child into this world. You don't like to be complimented. Yeah, that's actually a really interesting one. I, yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I get awkward. Like when people say thank you, not just thank you, especially when people say thank you for your service. Mm. That's always like a really awkward one. I don't, I'm not be like, oh, you're welcome. All right, guys, that completes the assumptions about Nate. Do not leave, like, see how he can't, He's like already ready to go. I'm gonna go shoot my bow. Can you please say something to close out the video? Thank you for all of your questions. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry that several of my answers will be censored. And we will see you again next week. Thank you so much for watching and making it this far into the video. We love you and um, have a good app. <laughs> Bye.